Last person to visit is going to be... Ooh, the Gnaw. Ooh. The Gnaw. Huh. Because you're pointing at this. But there's the Gnaw. There might be a bit more waiting for us than I thought. Alright, so we need, to, we need to go talk to Jokel before we mass spend everything, probably, and then leave. There's, I wonder if the dungeon leads to that other zone. Ahu came to me in my dreams, this time to say goodbye. Our father was there too. I've never seen them so happy. I awoke, <laughs> grinning like a fool, my cheeks wet with tears. The curse is gone. I can feel it as surely as I can feel the light on my face. And Malik, he left something, didn't he? Please, do me this one last favor. Show it to me. This shield. It was once the symbol of our noble house. Ahu drew it for me one day. It's yours now, my friend. My family has a future again. We don't need the past. Like you, I've wandered far and wide. Never have I felt so at home as I do right now. It's a strange thing to finally be in the right place at the right time. My father told me that Lathyrus was founded by a hut, a well, and a field of corn. I actually don't know what corn is. Maybe a kind of mushroom. No. I'm a little confused, though. Do all these... Do all these plants not need light? How does this work? Because light just came back, right? But, like, there's all these plants that you seem to be something that would photosynthesize. They're just all around us. I'm not totally sure what to think about that. Like, it seems to be implied that stuff like corn went extinct when the light went away. But there's so much plant coverage, so I'm a little confused. Malak's shield. An ornate shield inscribed with Jokel's family crest. It once belonged to Malak, a Lathirian noble and right hand the shadow of the Ashen. It was Malak who create, uh, carried out the sacrifice of Ishra and signed the Dark Pact with Riak. My ancient house died with Malak. This crest is but a painful memory, Jokel. Leather shield. Kills your stamina regen. Boop. Gonna run out of spaces here. Not that half that stuff's really worth keeping. It's just... Uh, in RPGs in general, I'm just not used to discarding equipment. It's one of the kind of neat things, I guess, about, uh... About, uh, Legend of Grimrock is that you don't have a stash of any kind, I guess, so you just have to throw stuff away. That said, stuff tends to be a pretty linear progression of some sort, so usually it's like, well, I'm, getting, I'm, throwing, I'm throwing this away because it's clearly worse. Whereas equipment in Dark Souls tends to less, less be direct upgrades. Like in a game like Diablo, I'm not like, oh no, what, what, what I better hold on to this old gear just in case, right? Because, no. Because, like, that's a level 5 item, and I'm now, now I'm wearing a level 15 item, and I'm not going to bother with that old stuff, is how Diablo usually works. Whereas in Dark Souls, the items are generally uh, not such direct upgrades. So, oh yeah, I haven't done this final one yet. I need 54,000. And then I also need the item. So since the, since the items are not usually direct upgrades, but instead side grades and alternate build options and so on, uh, you of course then are less inclined to feel like you should be getting rid of them. Although even in Legend of Grimrock, specifically two, since it was more of a there was more of a hub world to it, I did eventually come up with a stash location where I could throw all of my items, just in case, because you never know when like a slightly different variation of, of a of build or strategy might still be really helpful, even though you otherwise thought it wouldn't be. 
All right, so 325. Damn. What? Okay. Maybe this game's not about to end as soon as I think it is. There's another upgrade tier, even after that one, that requires two of this item I've never seen more than one of. I've been I've gotten used to the idea that by the time I start upgrading to a certain point, uh, the items I'm trying to upgrade are just like in a crazy abundance. Like I have 63, I have 63 of these, I have 39 of these. It's like it's, it's there's too many of them, and I've, I've got used to that idea. So when I saw the special thing, I thought it was the Titanite slab. But now there's another tier that requires two. Maybe this next area I'm going to go in will finally start dropping this item with abundance, because it otherwise hasn't. I'm going to upgrade my War Axe. I've kind of avoided it. Not sure necessarily a lot of time if it's worth investing in. But uh, I should probably do it. You never know when the game will force me to use a one-handed weapon, and so I should try to keep one on hand that's good, at least. Uh, sorry, what was the number again? 33,000. So I need, I need three grand. That's two grand. 2.5 grand. So no, we're not gonna make it. Gonna have to stop at the current, at the current tier. I maybe shouldn't have done that. Because I maybe should... I, I gotta check my inscriptions. There's so many different systems for upgrades and whatnot now. There's a lot to keep track of. I keep, keep, I keep putting these bugs in my inventory even though I never use them. Bad about that. I, mean, I never use temporary stamina regen items though in, in any of these games. I, I, I will love to upgrade it overall. In a permanent basis, but I'm not super into temporary buffs. This is a new talisman? Oh, talisman's the other ta- yeah, this, this, this one. Made to double swig. Greater constitution. 5% stamina. Sometimes you just... Uh, sometimes you just need to be the last one standing. The hunter is the one who is still running when the chase is done. Vorsa. Steadfast. 10% damage resistance. I see. Your damage resistance is increased while you are in good health. So above 60 health, I guess. Above 60% health, you have some damage resist. A building can seem able to stand forever until the first cracks begin to show. If you believe they can't touch you, they probably can't. Hmm. Stalker. Your footsteps no longer alert enemies. Those are fun ideas. This thing reducing the damage by 10% when you're in high health is interesting. But 10% is kind of, kind, of, kind of low of a modifier. I don't know. I think I'm fine with what I have now. I don't think I need to change. So... Should be done here, right? Yep. A lot of the quests all point me into the new place. Some of them are done. Eh, hey, Jokal's done. Jokal, Vorsa, and Isla are all completely done. And this guy wants me to go to the Na. Talarin is done. So we just have Amara is pointing me into this temple, and Floki is pointing me to the Naw, which I guess is probably where the we come out after going through this is the zone. It's time for the hard part of the game. Hooray! We'll see how this goes. So far, definitely the most taxing part of the series. <laughs> Is uh, whenever I do the uh, the, the dungeons with no re no checkpoints. <clears throat> God damn, I can't get I can't get clear seemingly. <clears throat> and uh, this uh, seems to be the third one. I think third of three, right? They talked about three shadow people things. Hey, hello. Keep up.
They give you the ability to fill up. Look how, look my look at that. My weapon actually glows in the dark now, and so does so does his. So his is probably a plus seven also. Or a plus six, I mean. If it's glowing in the dark. I don't think five glowed. I think it was only when I did the twin infusion thing. But I could be wrong. Oh god. Boy, do you guys blend in with the dark. Wow, this is pretty bright. <laughs> That is not a lot of damage. Oh, I really wish my friend here would use his lamp. This, <laughs> the, the, my, the other one is not doing a lot of damage. Check in every corner for ambushes, because we never know where they'll be. Fuck your pottery. Ah. This is the two person door. Uh, what's the glowy red thing? Hello. He's got a big ol' weapon, doesn't he? Oh boy. Oh! First attack blocked. Oh! Okay, I'm stronger. I am stronger than jo than Jokel. By a fair margin. Oh, it's just that guy. Right. Oh! Oh! Big ouch. He does not stun. Hello. Was that? Where'd they go? Wait, what? Oh. I thought they were a door. Hey. You wouldn't have like additional friends, would you? That wouldn't be very nice. Uh Are we doing this or not? <laughs> oh. Oh. She's one of those ones with weapons. Oh, that's how I missed it. It was behind a wall. I was wondering how I didn't see it before. Are we doing this? Done with this. <laughs> Come at me. I'm not playing cat and mouse. Uh oh. Huh? Almost got him. That was a pretty... That was a... One of those hitbox porn moments. When they they dodged my attack. Hey there. Is this a dead end? With stuff? Maybe? Ah, uh, it goes up here. There seem to be multiple paths through this area. Yep. And tons of those statues. I wonder if speedrunners would do stuff like that, like go warping up and down the hallways via the statues. Skipping entire encounters with their pixel perfect throws and all that. Probably gonna use keyboard and mouse at that point, if you're using that strategy. Were they not an enemy? They didn't fight back. That made me nervous. Did I do something wrong? Do you not attack?
Huh. Oh boy. It wouldn't let me change targets to the guy on the left. I wonder why. I was trying to focus on the closer enemy. That axe looks awesome in the darkness. Just the faint glow. Wouldn't mind having an axe that looks like that. I've stuck with this one so far and it's working for me. And I've invested a lot in it. Hi. Yeah. Oh. Oh, ow. It may have been advisable to bring a shield. Really just an army of people with shields coming at me is like the worst thing that could happen. There's one. I fight everyone else first if I can. Because the best way to kill a shield unit is actually just to be attacking them on both sides with an, with an ally. Which admittedly works on most enemies, but specifically counters the, sh the shield benefit. Are you alone in here? Yeah, you are. More apple crickets. A little worried about the side darkness. Still sapient moss, huh? I don't see any glowing eyes. Oh! Oh, there it is! There it is! That's bad. There we go. Not quite like I hoped. I felt bad because before I let him take all the hits because I ran away smartly from the expl the incoming attack. But this time, I'm like, I'm gonna help him out. We're gonna power through her. We're gonna beat her before she gets the attack off. Uh-uh. Hey, there's Twin Sapient. That's what I need for my upgrades. They're already, they're already dropping. But I won't be able to use them till I'm done with this entire dungeon, unless I die, I guess. But hopefully I'll have a nice little stock. Maybe even, like, two levels worth. I think that's an- yeah, that's an enemy. <laughs> I saw the legs. Hi? I must have not triggered the tripwire for this ambush yet. There you go. Ah, the statue person again. This thing's pretty bright, holy crap. You wouldn't attack me, would you, nice statue? That wouldn't be very nice. Yeah, this game's at its prettiest. Well, no, it was pretty... It's pretty pretty when it's just like a nice, colorful landscape that you see from over a cliff. But, uh... I think the harsh lighting in the dark zones is one, is one of the coolest things the game does. So it's, it'd be kind of interesting to have to pl navigate a dark world with a series of increasingly powerful lamps. It's like a clear indication of like that's the light path, this is the dark path. One of them's clearly a better choice. Do yours upgrade with mine? Now he's got an old lamp.
Is this where we do battle? I'm not letting you get away. There we go. Yeah, no. <laughs> she, was in, she was in that prayer pose, and she was facing that door. I'm like, she's gonna try to slip in that door, where she can probably ambush me with even more enemies. I'm like, I'm cutting this off right now. Yep, there's a red, there's a red eye right now. She probably also has red eyes. This is a, oh, this is a bad place. This is probably a completely optional side area. This is, this, I'm, I'm guessing that the light path is where I'm supposed to go, and this is probably a completely optional side area. But it might have some twin sapient. That's what I'd hope. Get her, get her, get her. I just don't want any surprises. Hey there. No! Oh. Right, iframes. You can dodge through the explosion without actually leaving it. I was trying to dodge backwards and accidentally dodged forward and was very panicked when that happened. What have you done to me? Um, interesting pose you got there. Creepy. Yeah, that's a that's a hole where you die. That's the death hole where you die. Awkward. There we go. Come at me. Oh. Woohoo! Uh, oh, they're like... What's happening? <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm just a mess today, apparently. <clears throat> oh, cool, and that wiped me out. <clears throat> that wiped me out so I needed a drink, so I could speak anymore. Ah. Oh, yeah. You were luring me to another one. I'm wise to your games. I'm not even going to give you the chance. Whoop. Yeah, I think that... I think that person's sound that for their... T Weird. They just have like a really long death sound, I guess. These are the doors. This is the doorways they always try to ambush me with things. Hey! is actually a thing. It's not what I want, but it's a thing. I have so much root. There's items down there. I'm afraid to jump down because I don't know how I'll get back up. Oh, the wood. Okay. So I'm good. Let's check it out. Ah Woohoo! Close one. Just like every time. You, you guys still drop medium scoria stashes? I'm surprised those are even still in the game. Dead. Pretty much just, yeah, that whole room was just the maiden shield. Maybe it's interesting. Maiden's shelter. Lotharian rulers believed strongly in the discipline of combat, and children began their service to 
the throne as feathered scouts or shield maidens. As we Lutherians spoke of peace, we prepared for war, Amara. Been a little bit. Message to Darkling Chief. Though the art of writing is rare among the survivors of Old Lothyrus, parchment can still be made from animal hide, and a few are still taught the delicate symbols of High Lutherian. It saddens me that few have maintained the arts of writing and making parchment. The darkness took so much from us, Amara. Yeah. Well, well. No. Nah. I was going to make a connection of like, well, it's hard to see, then writing's going to be tough, but if they already, like, that writing, writing makes every, uh, uh, I heard something, uh, the darkness made it, it would make almost everything equally difficult. But it's not really writing, it's not really specific that it would become a, a problem for writing. Large score, yay, twin sapient, that's what I needed. So that's, that's what I need for the upgrade. And also, yes, there's a, a pair of sad corpses being sad. Very sad. Whoop! Ah! Oh, wow, I fell way further down than I thought I would. I didn't judge correctly where I was, I guess. Thankfully, that health will recover in a moment. I can't see shit right now. I don't need eyes. There we go. There's my ally. <laughs> Any minute now, he'll be here with my eyes. I'm, I'm guessing that they lost riding just because they lost a bunch in their society as a result of what happened, and not because it was like, oh well, we can't see, better stop riding. Because, like, they still needed light. They still need to create light to do most, most things in their life. Though they would probably still write if they could, using said light. But, uh, just everything was prog was harder across the board, so just the idea- it's more like the industry of having- being able to have parchment is what was hard. That's locked onto the wrong one, whoops. There comes a time where you start to wonder, will they ever fight back? There's a lot of darkness and bad times out there. So I, I think based on the shape of the of the room, the entryway, the way we came in from one side, I think this is where the light and dark paths converge. Though I, I'm still guessing though, because I haven't seen... I still haven't seen the light path. Oh god. All right, well, that fight transformed. <clears throat> I figured, oh, I took some damage, but the fight's probably very nearly over, so I thought I could get away with just not healing. But I very nearly almost lost it. Because <clears throat> I figured that guy was probably about to die in one hit. And so the, th the shield character shouldn't pose a threat at that point. And so I could just auto-heal the rest. But the moment that Jokel went down, I was at the risk of losing the entire encounter and having to start over, and that would really suck. Heavy emphasis on this, huh? Ooh. Praetorian Axe plus three. I bet that's what uh, he's using. Yeah. An immaculate example of the Therian smithing. Delicate and deadly. Nothing wrong with looking good while you're waging war, Jokel. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell that you think that. There's that whole side area. Yeah, this entire place is like a balance between light and dark, with just a pitch black side and a, and a bright side. Kind of makes me want to die. Like, if I, if I lose and have to start this whole thing- are they, are they following me? Oh shit, let's deal with this. Oh. I was trying to take it into the light. There we go. The upside of this kind of dungeon design, and I, which I look forward to a bit, 
is that if I do die and have to start the entire thing over... Oops, sorry. You're just you're standing in the middle of the fight like a jackass, so I hit you on accident. You seem cool with it, though. Yeah, the, the upside is... Because I'm kind of sticking with one side. I don't, I don't really want to backtrack every single time. But the upside is that if I do die and have to play the entire dungeon again, I can then just do the light side on my way on my second attempt. And then I can still be keep getting new items and witness a slightly different enemy layout and so on. So that's cool.